something that I always admired was virtuosity. You know, whether okay. that's a violinist or an artist, you know, that that's always been something that I've always really loved. So, but, you know, originally when I was first starting to draw and paint, like I loved Salvador Dali. Like he was one of my favorite painters. Hmm. And like, I don't know if you've ever seen the the basket of bread that he's done. That's sort of a companion piece to his, his huge Christ. Yeah, figure. yeah, yeah. I actually just saw this in Spain, like in person a few months Amazing. ago. It was incredible, like to get to see that live. But like, what a what an impression that made on me as an art student. It's a it's a fun uh, Dali. It's a fun one because obviously it's um it's the iconic painter for surrealism, mm -hmm. and we don't think of surrealism like details and stuff like that. Um, it's all about you know the dream and the world that you can create in in word into the world, and it's more. But Salvador Dali had such an amazing attention to details and to mm -hmm. the realism in the surrealism i don't know if it makes sense yeah but no, i remember absolutely. one time i think um i was in madrid and i uh, we saw one of the salvador dali uh paintings and i was uh, it was incredible the he he's famous for you know this uh, the hands in the paintings so it has a lot of painting with hands and the details to like the actual hand, like even the smallest one, it was so realistic and it was crazy. So it's is is a fun one. Um, I think it's yeah for the surrealism that he represents. It's so it's such a like contrast when when you see the paintings. It's, it's so realistic. Yeah, well, and Magritte like is another like mm. surrealist painter that really inspired me as a as a young art student. You know, because again, like he has this narrative and the surrealism, but there's also a high level of representational painting. So, yeah, I mean, painters like that really, when I was younger, really informed, I think, the path that I was on.